Some call it a miracle. Some are puzzled by the change. Either way, the world is fascinated by China's development and watching closely to see what happens next. Hi, my name's Max. I first visited China in 2009, and now I live here. Since then, I've been able to see significant changes in many aspects of Chinese life. China's progress is clear to see, but what's the driving force behind these changes? Now, we have an opportunity to find out. China's Two Sessions is the most important annual event on China's political calendar. As the name suggests, the event consists of two parts. There's the annual session of the National People's Congress, China's top legislative body, and the annual session of the Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference National Committee, China's top advisory body. The dual meetings are regular yet crucial venues where political and economic developments are reviewed and discussed, and key policies and laws are adopted. The NPC deputies represent all Chinese people to decide on state affairs. The NPC is elected for a term of five years. All citizens of the People's Republic of China over the age of 18 have the right to vote and run in an election. The number of NPC deputies is capped at 3,000. The number of deputies from provinces and autonomous regions with a small population size may not be less than 15. The ethnic minorities with extremely small populations should have at least one deputy of their own. According to the electoral law, deputies to county and township level people's congresses are directly elected by voters, while deputies to the people's congresses above the county level are elected by deputies at the next level below them. Deputies to the NPC are elected by people's congresses of provinces, autonomous regions and municipalities directly under the central government. The new lineup of 2,980 deputies elected to the 13th NPC has 742 women, accounting for almost 25%. The 1,011 party and government cadres still form the majority of the NPC, but its share has dropped to 33.93%. A total of 468 NPC deputies are workers and farmers. Their share has grown by 2.28 percentage points to over 15% of the total. 438 of the NPC members are ethnic minority deputies, representing all of China's 55 ethnic minority groups. So what does it mean to be elected as an NPC deputy? Can they really make a change? Every year, deputies to the NPC take the hopes and expectations of the people at the grassroots level to Beijing. So what topics are the Chinese public concerned about? Through the two sessions, the thoughts and wishes of the Chinese people are integrated into China's plans for development. This allows the Chinese people to exercise their power as master of state, according to foreign politicians and experts. This is the advantage of China's political system. And I think the quality of leadership China has had and continues to have with President Xi now at the helm gives uh, people hope, gives people the uh, feeling, both local people and outside China, that here's a leader who is committed to making his country stronger, better, and his people having a better quality of life. And you see it today. The scale is phenomenal, it has to be seen to be believed. And it is being achieved on the basis of economic planning, public ownership of key sectors of the economy, uh, and Communist Party government. It's not a monolithic voice 
but many voices who are trying to go and the discipline that's required to keep China together and moving on the right track.